I'm just I'm just saying because um, imagine like imagine this scenario: Ryland opening a war against Bretonia and the Omegas, and they get the they get a zone of influence expansion into Omegas. Then you have Coalition, you have the Red Hessians, you have Mollies, you have the Corsairs. Like so many potential factions to boost activity, right? It could be a full clusterfuck of conflict zones. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> but yeah, okay, yeah, I see. What well, anyhow, uh, let let me actually move on to where is your faction yeah. standing right now? Diplomacies, RP stories, and what procedures? Uh, let me scroll through and pull up my faction diplomacy page real quick. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, I say that not because I want to be like a, a jokester, but because like I literally <laughs> um, need to see it. It's okay, take your uh, time. I literally have not looked at it in a while, but if I remember correctly, this is outdated as fuck. Um, because <laughs> the LWP doesn't exist anymore. True, uh, um, true. The rip. We've kind of, uh, we're still friends with pretty much everybody that we're friends with. So you know the Bunchu, the R, R, uh, the SCRHA, yeah, okay, um, SCRA, Molly's, IMG. We're probably more friends with the IMG now. The yeah. BD and LH, we've always had agreements with the Council. Same, mm -hmm. Alar, mm -hmm. Junkers. We've gotten more friendly with the Order. We've worked a bit with the uh, Ox Group, and um, we were approached by ALG. We were approached by KNF. We try to talk things over with BDM, didn't work out that well, but I expected that to happen. It's okay. Yeah. But like diplomacy wise, I'd say we just sit on par. I'm not trying to be friendly with everybody. Pretty, yeah. I'm not trying to be enemies with everybody, but I'm also not trying to be friendly with everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you wanna make like diplomacy power is not our top concern. Yeah. It does not really if you look at things only from a lore perspective and you wanna to try to make yourself into like a mini house powerful, you're never gonna have fun. That's true. That's true. Um, I agree. If you shift up your diplomacy like that, you're never going to have fun. You're never going to have things to shoot at. And, you know, fun to some people might be trading or being friends and just sitting above playing and role-playing with people. But, you know, exactly. it's not fun to a lot a lot of people that want to play this game on occasion. Let's be honest. If you came back here for, like, a weekend mm -hmm. and you wanted to play, what, is, what would you want to do? You would want to do what? Well... You wanna, we wouldn't want to be part of what kind of an event? Would you want to be part of a role-play event, a trade event? Or a combat event. What event would uh, you want? What event would immediately go? I want to be a part of that combat event. I guess. There you go. True. And that is the reason why it's a good idea to like sort of know your boundaries. You don't have to be friends with anybody. You don't have to be enemies with everybody, you know. But you have to be. You can't be friends with everybody as well. That's true. No, so agree, I'm not agree. pushing dramatically for all this stuff. And yeah. if it doesn't go my way, and they're like, "Oh, this will hurt you from a lore perspective," I'm like, "Dude." Dude, yeah, fuck Duke it. my shit, I don't care. <laughs> exactly, yeah, man. You can hit me with your lore stories, but if you log in game, I guarantee you, you'll be hitching back towards the nearest <laughs> more. Guarantee you, 100%. 100%, true, true. You will see those tags logging in, and you will be like, where is the nearest planet I can dock at? Um, It's not to, like, you know, I don't say it like that to, like, scare I know. But like, I mean, that's the reality. You mean you challenge us like that, we're gonna put up a fight. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. It's always been our motto. That's been our motto since we started. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You pick on us, we'll respond. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Because a lot that's, of people have tried it. A lot of people do that. Like, if you get to the point where, like, you get, like, you know, yeah. where this faction is gone, especially one that's like an unlawful, struggling to like sort of establish its position of power, because mm -hmm. the RHA is the closest of any unlawful faction to do that. Like you can look at the Corsairs and Outcasts, but they pretty much already have the playing field paid out for them. They already yeah. have what they want. That's true. That's true. That's true. Like, if you look at us though, it's like we're still kind of trying to get there, and people will try to like you know pick on us for that or undermine us on yeah. the forums or whatever the case may be. <laughs> not all the time. It's not everybody. You know, it's not like a super super common thing, but like yeah. it happens. Speaking so when they come in game and they try to challenge us, it's like, you better be ready. You better like, be ready, exactly. You know, true, true. Uh, speaking of unlawfuls, there's just a question for from the Corsair. How will RHA treat other island unlawfuls in the future? Will they be like um, one, one shoe or and unioners? We had a nap with UN. I wanted to keep it up, if mm -hmm. I'm being blatantly honest. I didn't want to pick on them. Yeah. Um, because I wanted to do some other stuff in the other regions, mm -hmm. and I don't knew if like the UN were like had their way. They, I mean that thing, it, the things that the UN put up at the end, uh, yeah, were kind of. 
That was kind Meta of a surprise, too. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm gonna nuke your planet and nuke Wolfsburg. There was something about that that just made me go, like, what? Um, what? <laughs> and uh, so I knew UN would pick at us, yeah. so I kind of wanted to leave it. But then, obviously, that that is completely shut down. Everybody knows why he was watching the stream. Um, so we're never going to be friends with them ever again, probably. Yeah, at all. it looks like it. Yeah. It um, like it. I'm not really interested in trying to communicate things out. Like, yeah with their leader either because of experience I've had with them yeah. and as far as the other ones though I mean like I could look at you and just go what other Rhineland Lawful factions are you talking about yeah well um, he didn't mention any specific factions so I wouldn't know what well, else what other ones are you talking about what other, what other Rhineland Lawful factions are there uh, just Unioners uh Bunshu, Retessions. When was the last time you saw a Bunshu player? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> when was the <laughs> last remember. time you saw a player trying to roleplay with me? Yeah. What other factions are there? Then people will say, you know, oh, well, the RHA took all their fuel. No, we didn't. No. The Bunshu <laughs> were never supposed to exist past the Nomad War. That's true. That's true. That's true. true. I mean, do they exist now? Yeah. Do I have a problem with it? No. But it's like. You can give them more ID lines to do different things, but please don't cry to me because you kept this faction that by war was supposed to go outdated after the war ended. Pretty much, pretty much. Sure. It's like, so, I, I can't like hold the faction's hand. I can't say like, you know, I'm going to give up all these cards because I want this faction to be here for mm -hmm. the same reason that we're here almost, literally. Mm -hmm. It's, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. No. So, I have to jump into... Uh, a personal question of mine. Now, you yep. mentioned, obviously, my favorite faction is the Coalition. No denying that. Right? So, uh -huh. I just have to ask you, dude, as the leader of the Red Hessians, one of our closest allies. Uh-huh. <sighs> What's going on, man? What's going on with the Coalition? <laughs> I'm confused, dude. I'm confused. Like, because how did that even go that far like the hessians uh, i mean the thing is now like now that you m mentioned about you know we just don't want to go all friendly with everyone right uh sometimes uh s some positions that factions take uh fuck up their allies in which case with the mollies like i think you can agree the nap was devastating for them because uh -huh. they were like attacking BAF and the coalition couldn't help at all or like the zoners in Omega 49 they were like completely left alone uh huh uh, I know you have reached out to the premiere in roleplay I saw that like we are through with the monarchies and that but I guess you didn't get a clear an answer did you ever talk to Khan or anyone after that like did you have any uh I haven't talked to Khan since I left for basic training. Oh, um, okay. Uh, not gonna lie to you, I was kind of on an iffy stance with them after. Not from any rule or actually for a little reason. Um, it was kind of where the devs put us in comparison to them. Mm -hmm. Kind of pissed me off because they kind of <laughs> said that the Coalition are now the same size if not larger than you. I, I was like, saw that, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I kind of, that, that was... kind of set me off the wrong way. Yeah, that, now, that's, that's... I don't really care, but... <laughs> Obviously, obviously. I mean, it does make sense, though. It does make sense. Because the thing is, uh, we have built the SDRA, the coalition, to be dependent on their allies, not to be as a, like, you know, a power in the Omegas. That was always the thing. Because we had the Hessians, because we had the Mollies, because we had those, that's what made us powerful, right? Not yeah. the faction itself. So. It was a bit ridiculous where it went, but uh... <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna talk, come No, on. it's that kind of that kind of set me off, and then I was yeah. kind of just iffy from there on out. So I was like, ah, uh, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I hadn't really argued with any of them. I argued with a few players, but yeah. from our stance now, I mean, we need to work with them. Mm -hmm. I've always lived by that sort of mentality that we're only as strong as each other because yes. without us counting on each other, then we're gonna basically both go kaput. True. So true, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so 
What's that? D- Durandal said in in the interview, he said um, when I asked about you know what's gonna happen with the nap and stuff, he said he definitely want to see the alliances break. And so and then he slipped one thing through. He said, but I'm gonna tell you this: Bretonia is gonna get more active in the Omegas. So you, as the Red Hessians, what what are your thoughts on that? What are you? They're I mean, you get guys more are kind of wise in the omegas. They're probably not going to get more active activity wise in the omegas. Yeah, but like lore. Yeah, I know what you mean, lore wise. But but the thing is now, if you're going to focus on Rhineland and you have the Corsairs, how would the, how would BF actually affect you, or would they actually affect you at all? Uh, if we committed to Rhineland, we would get kind of eaten at our skulls because mm-hmm. we wouldn't be able to fight all three of them at once. Uh, that's why I said that we were playing defensive. We're not moving past Dresden. I don't see a reason to. There's no real reason to. So it's going to stay that way. The gate's yep. down. Or at least the gate's hive-minded with us. And so... So... Is, I mean, if is, they push back in, or why is they push back in? We can't stop them from pushing into three. True, at all. True. Um, 49, we can't really stop them. They already have that place. But if they try to push into 47, um, yeah, they're going to have more problems than just us to worry about. So... That's true. That's true how they could bounce back from after a situation like this we could all debate that but yeah. they do i mean we're not going to make it easy for them <laughs> pretty much <laughs> I, I yeah. see that now like i have an impact but i don't so i don't <laughs> know gameplay wise we're definitely not going to make it easy for them yeah uh they try to push back in it'll be met with the same kind of force it was met with in three so yeah so pretty much yeah, there's like the unspoken rule of the edge worlds where it's like the edge worlds are our turf, not yours. And when I say ours, I mean the lawless, the lawless turf. The lawless turf, yeah. And in the past, even with leaders that disagreed with me and didn't see things eye to eye with me, yeah. um, when it came to stuff like that, where like a lawful faction was like, I want my base here, we all went, no, you're not getting that. <laughs> yeah. You want to move in here. No, you're not moving in here. That that sort of lawless aspect always always stuck. So am I counting on it? No. But mm-hmm. I think that might spark up again. I mean if they push back in we'll have to worry about them, but I mean gameplay wise it'll be fun. So the the Red Hessians, uh are there like any projects you guys are working on right now? Like any RP stories you're trying to uh, you know, I like. Is there like a economical expansion or whatever? Like you know, or we were system like that before. Mm-hmm. But it kind of we kind of lost interest in that for a bit. Um, after what happened with UN and what happened with O3, I think we all kind of just went like, nah, it's not really. We shouldn't focus on it a ton. Could we focus on it? Yeah. Would it have an impact? No, and I think that's what a lot of the people in the project were looking for. Um, I I was kind of looking for it too, just because yeah, yeah. that was like our one like meaningful build up. I kind of reiterated that to the devs a lot, um, a lot, a lot, like constantly. Like I always said, like you know, we could build ourselves into our own little nation in a sense, like on that planet. But like, which is wise why, um, but it never really went anywhere. So I didn't see a. Now I don't see any. Well, we could still try and do it, but now if anything, I would say we would focus on uh, getting some other things back on their feet and uh, moving on. Well, the thing is... Like our you, assets and stuff. Like you, castle. Yeah, you, you saw the uh, VI got official a couple months ago. So, yeah. you have an ally that is mainly focused on, you know, resource expansion, mm-hmm. whatever. Well, okay, here's the thing. So, um, yeah. We could say, like, you know, maintaining castle or not castle i'm sorry tangier because right now a lot of people are eyeing that thing down it's a very big resource hub it's been ours for the longest time true i could argue with you a million ways or a million reasons why it should stay ours but obviously none of that matters it's not up to me it's up to the people who have the yellow name pretty much yes um but that would be a big thing um because we've always relied on that as like our sort of resource hub and i've always sort of like le- like i've always like leaned back on that as like a this is why we have this this and this we have this place we have this little resource hub so would you have like any future tasks for factions like vi that support your img at this point 
Um, because yeah. you do uh, have, but... especially after Alan, you got I've a actually lot thought of. About, um, yeah. What I thought about um, was uh, sort of um, deconstructing fear and um, hmm. yes, fear and hype. And um, starting up another sort of dry dock, okay, or something else that's along those lines. All right, all right. Maybe like another like fortress inside the asteroid field or closer to Tangier as like a staging point. Would make uh, would make sense, especially now, <laughs> because right now, if you, if you look at the lore, the info card, Vanheim was basically made to like you know it was sort of like a catalyst for getting resources in and out because there was no docking ring. But yeah. what's the case now? There's a docking ring, so. Could, couldn't you just move the base or something? Uh, it, I see. Cool. The way it works with bases, according yeah. to the devs, is um, for one base to be added, another has to go. Oh. It's sort of a trade off. Okay. Because see. of like, the server's ability to handle it or something like that, I wasn't completely certain. Um, I could be wrong about this, so okay. don't take my word for it 100%. Okay. This is what I was told a while back by Durandal when I was talking to him about this. Um, is basically one has to go for one to join. So, if we wanted to make another one, we would have to give one up. So, yep. I don't really mind giving up Fjernheim. It doesn't really bother me. So, uh, I figured we'd give that up and make something a little bit better out of it. It might be a good idea. Yep. Cool project. Helps out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, um... But we can't really just, like, add stuff in for our own benefit. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, we can't just, like, throw things into the game because, yo, I want this. Like, no, we can't do that. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean, obviously. That's a well, I mean, uh, okay, uh, let me just go on to, uh, you, you mentioned a couple factions, mostly were like around Omegas and stuff, but you do mm -hmm. also see the Order now and then, and the core yep. around Omegas. So what are your future views for those two factions, like the Hessians, or what did you guys... The core have always tried to like, yeah. say they're going to move into the Omegas, but they never really have. Yeah. Um, the well, core leader actually wanted me to blow up their battleship. Oddly <laughs> enough, uh, he said, "Yo, uh, I don't want our battleship." <clears throat> sort of like what? Like he just randomly PM me. This wasn't Lith. This was another one. This was uh, uh, okay. This was the the board bright I Brighton. I think his name was. Board, oh, well, uh, Silverlight. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Silverlight, but yeah. not before Lith, but like you know, in like Lith's apps. Yeah. yeah. Um, he was like, "Yeah, I don't want, uh, I don't want Mars anymore. I want you to get rid of Mars." And I was like, um, "Okay." I sort of just said that. I was like, uh, "All right." So, okay. yeah, we, but that never happened. But the core is like their their mentality on the Omegas has never been concrete. If they come in, we kill them. That's sort of what happens. They have yeah. one base. I really don't mind. It's not really that system has kind of been declared like not ours, anyways. Yeah, it's sort of been declared like everybody's. I guess, because you know, Sayers, Up, Order, Core, SCRA, Wild, they all exist there. 55. Yeah, yeah pretty much. That's the only place they exist. I mean, I, do I foresee them coming down here? Yeah. Uh, in game? Yeah. In lore? No, not in force. They have a lot of other things to worry about. The Order, we've been working more closely with. Um, those, that faction. I definitely see it thriving a bit more in the Omegas if we really cooperate because they're kind of on like a uh, neutral term with the, the Sayers, so yep. I can sort of see that happening. Uh, in addition, do I mind if they do that? No, I don't mind. Um, the Order I mean, is one of those factions, like I know people have like their thoughts on it and how it's like kind of yeah. good and bad and whatnot, I really just don't mind them. I see it more as like an opportunity than a, like, you know, an obstacle. Ah, uh, okay. Just because they don't really so bother it's me. Not, it's Golly and I have never really not gotten along. Yeah. Um, I think he probably didn't think well of me beforehand, but we got we got we get along now, and it works out. So and he doesn't come to me like going, you know, I need this, this, and this, and like taken from you or whatever. Like, yeah. he hasn't really treated like that. Like, uh, I guess a lot of people think he has treated them like that, but I've never really had that run in with him, at least now. Mm -hmm. So I've mm -hmm. been like, all right, just do what you want. As long as you're not like invasive too much, but like sure. working with us, yeah, like, sure. the order will probably work with us a lot more. I see, I see. Okay, so apparently Shelko asked the question before that I didn't see. So sorry, Shelko. His, uh, what does Wesco think is the biggest management issue of Hessians in terms of who does what, and does he think other people should be involved more? Uh, I've uh, never turned. Uh, 
there has only been like maybe one HC spot that I've rejected in my time here on leaving the faction. Yep. Uh, truth be told, we need more people in mid command. We have way too many cadets and stuff. I need to start up an enlisted ranking system for showing tell, but the officer ranks that we have now, yep. um, going up into mid command, we have no mid command officers. So oh, okay. we need more of those. Uh, if you're in mid command, you're going to be doing a lot more. I've told, and if I look at the people in mid command right now, they're all three of them. Don't play the game that much. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so if they want to try and rank up, yeah. it's a big thing on them is that they want to like rank up. And like if they tell me like, yo, I want to do more stuff, I will give you more stuff to do. I will give you more like places. Pretty I've much. asked people if they want to do stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people that came into HC, they were like, yo, I want to do more stuff for the faction. Like, I want to manage this, this, and this. It doesn't have to all be, like, comms in the forums. It can be, like, in-game stuff, too. Yep. Like, you know, I want to lead this raid. You know, I, I log, I play the game more. Yeah. I think I could do good if you gave me this position. I'll be like, yeah, sure, do it. Do what you want. Like, sure. Yeah. Because I'm not available 24-7 anymore. Mm -hmm. I have other commitments. My internet here is crap. So when I'm playing, <laughs> I'm, like, Viber on steroids. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, no, um management struggles it just has to do with the fact that a lot of the people that lead are they're in hc have other obligations too and i think that's becoming a thing in a lot of other factions as mm -hmm. well it's really just one person at times that's like sort of narrating the yeah. the directive um and it has to be that way because other people are committed to other factions like now in disco there's never a faction you'll go to where you won't see that that same person and maybe another faction you run into there's that's always going to be one person that's mutually hung over with like another that's, that's hung over with another faction as well like you know um if i go from if i click on the rha chat i'm going to see nen wasser dino if i click on the gal chat what was the first person i see in the upper three i see nen i click on bdm i see wasser up here you know like it's and i'm in both of these groups Yep. it's you see these people hung over and they have other commitments as well so that's mm -hmm. that's one of our biggest issues is that's why i keep telling people in the faction and that's why i've said it on the stream if you can find you can train newer players and make them into good players and make them knowledgeable players of the game do it because they're going to be loyal to your faction exactly first yeah, yeah. so if i can find more people like that and i can give them spots i'll be like that's your spot it's you're true. doing it so that's our biggest thing is just that we have people that have other commitments really like and i have you know a bigger life commitment now yeah, than I did pretty much beforehand i was pretty much just doing everything and now <laughs> i'm not really doing anything and nothing nothing's getting done things are getting done it's just that i have to direct people a little bit too yeah no i feel you dude I mean, it's, and it's not really like... their fault that i have to direct them because they kind of need that sense yeah. of direction for some things because i'm not always clear on like what i think we should do all the time like you hear me now i'm like kind of indecisive because it's just not bothering me as much mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i don't really mind if people go their own way like nen and wasser are sort of headed their own things their own comms that they get like he wasser headed the thing with alg and then headed the thing with the SCRA. I really don't mind. You do you. Run True. it by me. Make sure we're just not going to war with anybody we True. shouldn't be going to war with, like the SCRA. True. But okay. no, like if more people want to join, and like especially if you're like a new player watching this or somewhere down the line watching this, um, and you want to join and you want to be a part of like the HC and stuff, like we have slots open. Yeah. We have slots open in mid command, and if you build up, there's no PvP ace requirement. If there was, then. I'm not going to say anything further because I like my HC the way it is. Um, <laughs> no, sure, but I mean, we, we I will... I just stopped myself there. We will, do, <laughs> we will direct people near the end of the interview uh, to... If you want to be an SOA, so. that's where you want to be a good pvp -er. Right. <laughs> so, okay, I have to move on because there are a lot of questions. Oh, there are a lot yeah, of questions. Here, yeah, yeah, suddenly I'm suddenly spiked me. in the interest. I haven't looked at the stream yet. I'm just sort of like scrolling through the forums. I'll look back on the stream now. 